Hi, my name is João Vitor Ferreira and this is the presentation of my new tool called JLeads. The function of this tool is to close the eyelids of characters. Usually, the models are made with open eyes, but rigged with closed eyes. So with JLeads, you can leave the mesh ready for the rigged department. You can also close the eyes to create blend shapes and expression tests. Firstly, you must be sure the eyes are spherical. Okay, and the eyelid mesh is editable poly. So first thing to do is to get the eyelid mesh and the eye. So a very important thing to know is that these two rings are border rings and they will be set here in these buttons. The another rings, this one, are normal rings. Another important thing to note is that we have the same number of edges in the upper eyelid. In this example we have 19 and in the lower eyelids. In this example we have 92 plus the corner edges. Now we have to go to the vertex mode and choose the vertex that is in the most outer border first in the character's right corner this one and set right corner let's do the same for the left corner note that if we are working in the left eye this is the right corner and this is the left corner so now Let's choose the edge mode and let's set the first border ring without the bottom eyelid edges and without the corners. We have here 19 edges selected and border ring 1. So let's do the same for the second border ring. Remove the corners and the bottom eyelid edge we have also 19 border ring 2 so now let's set the rings not borders anymore so select the, the first ring remove the corners and the bottom 19 again and ring 1 so let's do the same for the second ring Remove the edge corners and the lower ring 2. Let's do the same for the third one. Remove the corner edge and the bottom. And the last one, the fourth. Note that we have here two border rings and four normal rings. For the most of situations, you can use the default values for vertical loop iterations, degrees iterations and processing iterations. For more information about these parameters, you can check the how to button. So now, we just have to leave checked upper eyelid and close eyelid. Great. Now we have the upper eyelid closed with the eye curvature. If you want to close also the lower eyelid, do not close J leads because we already have here the upper eyelid information. Note that it's very important to have the same number of borders and rings in the upper and lower eyelid. So in the upper eyelid we have here two borders and 4 rings calculated. Now let's set the lower eyelid. Remove the corners and the upper eyelid edges. Border ring 1. This one will be the border ring 2. Now let's select 
the first ring of the lower eyelid, remove the corners, let's select the second ring, remove the corners and the uppers, the third one, and the last one so now we can check lower eyelid when we enable the lower eyelid we have the option to enable to force match lower border to upper lines incremental try to match use the same value used by borders lines proximity works on the proximity of vertices we will not use this feature in this example. You can choose standard mode incremental to keep the borders angle. If you want to choose standard mode, here you have an important warning. You can choose perpendicular borders modes to close the eyelids with borders in 90 degrees. You can choose stick borders checkered if you want to stick the borders of the upper eyelid and the lower eyelid. For this example, let's uncheck this feature. Make sure lower eyelid is checked and close eyelid. Great! Now we have the lower eyelid closed. So now, if you choose Unhide All, we can check all the system used by the tool. For clean your scene, just choose Clear System. Great! Do not forget to read the How To button. Thanks for watching!